Has then with the throw. Quinn to aim at. And he's got the header on. Great save there by Kylie, denying Arca. Long throw really is a useful weapon to have with somebody like Niall Quinn in attack. And he got the better of Fish, but Arca couldn't get the better of Kylie. Here's Fish. That was a magnificent crossfield pass towards Powell. Gray to clear the danger. He's got unhappy memories, of course, of Charlton Athletic having missed that penalty in the shootout decider at Wembley a few years back. Fish has made his way for closely watched there by Niall Quinn. Johansson also on the edge of the penalty area. Kamczewski with a corner kick. On, it's gone in. Charlton Athletic have taken the lead. Bartlett will take all the credit. But it may well have gone in off the goalkeeper. Far from convincing attempt to punch clear there by Jürgen Macho. Well, the goalkeeper just didn't get anywhere near and it may well have gone in off Bartlett's back. First goal of the season for Bartlett and what a start for Charlton. They're ahead after just 11 minutes. Here's Gray. Managed to get away from Stewart there. Slip by Phillips. Stewart wins more. Johansson, now Bartlett. Here's Parker. It was worth a try. Encouraging signs here early on for Charlton. Parker with the time there to go on. Parker foul. Charlton have the free kick. Mark Kinsella standing over this. What a difference he has made. Back from injury now. Launch forward towards Bartlett. And back across the face of goal towards Johansson. Well, he had to stick out a leg that was an instinctive reaction by Jonathan Johansson. Craddock it was, he was in a bit of trouble there, he just didn't see where the ball went to him. Bartlett reacted smartly. Here's Phillips. Gray Ford offering good support. On to Quinn, and now McCann. Brilliant stop by Kylie. Great opportunity for Sunderland, and what a save again by Kylie. Shelton there, guilty of backing off a little bit. Intelligent play by Quinn. Goalkeeper spread himself well. Hasn't been a comfortable first half for the Sunderland manager. Second half underway then, and Charlton have made a switch at half-time. John Robinson has come on in place of Graham Stewart. Charlton haven't won in the northeast either here or at Roker Park since 1992. Well, appeals for handball there against Powell. Rueful smile from Kevin Phillips, and I think, in fact, that Phillips' shot hit Powell flush in the face. The sense that Powell had to take evasive action. Well, maybe there was a hand in there. Charlton forced to defend in greater numbers now, it seems. Quinn with a header on. And over the top by McCann. Sunderland continuing to press. 
Quinn again making his presence felt. Quinn, brilliantly done. Good save by Kylie. And Phillips, for once, unable to react quickly enough. Marvellous play by Niall Quinn. Stinging shot, which Kylie did well to parry away. Sunderland now playing with much more purpose. Well, that could have gone anywhere. Mervyn Day demanding more effort. Here's Young. On towards Bartlett. He's cleverly worked. And Parker now encouraging the Charlton supporters to make their presence felt. Young with the throw, launched into the six-yard area, and Brown has scored! A second goal for Charlton Athletic, and it's been scored by Steve Brown. The supporters can't believe it, and you sense that even he can't believe it. Just wasn't a challenge. Macho rooted to the goal line, and beaten by that looping header from Steve Brown. It's getting better and better for Charlton. Bartlett now. Kinsella. Flag has stayed down, Robinson's onside. He's angry with himself. Johansson there, well placed inside the penalty area. That was a good chance. A third goal would have certainly put it beyond Sunderland's reach. Ball may well have taken a bobble. Parker. Still with Parker, he's done well here, he's got two to aim at inside the penalty area. Robinson also arriving. Johansson shot, charged down. Here's Arca. Now Phillips, who's doing some of his best work outside the penalty area. And Quinn! Sunderland have pulled the goal back. Highly beaten at last, was powerless really then because Quinn was no more than two or three yards away from him. All the force he wanted into the header. Phillips had done well too. Charlton being stretched at the back. Terrific running by Phillips. And that was a good finish from close in by Nell Quinn. Fifteen minutes to go, and Charlton make a substitution. Johansson is going off to be replaced by Jason Ewell. Sunderland supporters not happy that Johansson there was just uh, ambling off. And Ewell will be forced back here to do a bit of defending. Sunderland free kick there. Lots of movement inside the penalty area. Oh, Quinn! He's got another one. Two goals in little over a minute for Sunderland. And two for Niall Quinn. Well, Peter Reid, the manager, says that Niall Quinn is priceless, and you understand why. 34 now, Quinn. But his experience always put to good use inside the penalty area. Howell's had a clear. Charlton desperately hanging on now. 
Quinn wins more up there with Archer. Real buzz around the stadium of like 46,500 Sunderland supporters and they're on the edges of their seats at the moment. A handshake for Alan Kerbishley from Peter Reid. A gritty performance from Charlton Athletic. They played well for well over an hour. They led by two goals to nil, but then Niall Quinn, with two late goals, snatched a point for Sunderland. Bartlett and Brown had given Charlton a two-goal cushion, but in the end, it just wasn't enough for them. There'll be question marks as well about Jürgen Macho, the Sunderland goalkeeper, who was badly at fault for both the Charlton goals. But there are positives to take from this for Charlton Athletic. They're still unbeaten away from the Valley this season. At the Stadium of Light, it's finished Sunderland 2, Charlton 2.